We start our journey by living the life of an average Genshin player, getting ignored by women. After all, none can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi. Sister. Huh? We start our journey similarly to how my life began. Accidentally. Done cannot be undone. Then why do I see sadness in your eyes? They are communicating. No sh How tall am I? Why you gotta keep making me answer that question? Ugh, I'm six foot negative five, okay? Stop. After having a bit of a short king moment, and hey, I'm not gonna complain about that. But I will complain about this burst again. Seriously, what the fuck? Now I'll make a joke in the video saying, uh, how tall am I? And then it'll be you guys answering he's tall. So, <laughs> Whoops. I wasn't paying attention. Rex Lapis. Assassinated? At the, At the right, right of dissension? Uh, yes, it's a Hydro Mage. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Dodge this! Cryo is always far more effective. Nice bro. Bravo. What do I think the ending will look like? Uh, we'll get back with our sister and uh, it'll turn out that like Paimon and uh, Dangelift are like twins. They were like us, but like in a past life. And like Dangelift is like the older version of like Ether, and uh, like Paimon is like another version of like Lumine. And like, uh, and like, uh, what'll happen is like they will be reunited, like finally. Yeah. We decide to look around while Paimon checks the cameras. Farina doesn't believe us, but then a detective named Navia shows up with a crucial piece of evidence. A woman. Let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> I really hope that joke was worth it because that could actually cost me in the future. So, no need to revive the homeland. Hey guys, I'm in New York City just hanging out. Upon starting Act 1, we come across Kale, who accidentally drops her Beyblade. But Paimon accepts this as a challenge, which means it's time to blade. Let it rip! <laughs> now then, first, let's just see what kind of power you have, shall we? next is Kaya's temple and we will have to make a sacrifice eeny meeny miny you this decision wasn't even close Stay with me. but we get to use Kaya now oh wait never mind but after she died the people of Sumeru created an institution called Apple and expanded upon the airpods now they can give us almost any information in the world including details about people's personal lives <laughs> I don't feel so good. You're all right. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. This is Fosalor, aka my wife. She's here to challenge us to a duel. Du 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 Fighting gods, I've got a resume. Don't do that. <laughs> Would you take this 10, mi 10 million, but there's a snail following you for the rest of your life and it, if it touches me, it kills me? Isn't that what happened to the Queen of England? Basically, a bunch of young women have been kidnapped and nobody knows who's doing it. Fun fact of the day, Lisa is not Pyro. Let's go. Uh, aren't those extinct? <laughs> oh. Kaya did very well against the eye because of the rain. And I gotta thank Kaya for his help because without him, I would have never known that Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. Why to choose Miss Defeat as my user? Um, 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 answer is because, uh, long story short, I thought it would be funny. Has anyone done my werewolf strategy? What might that be? The werewolf strategy? 
So when you're talking to a, a significant other or a person that you're interested in, what you do is uh, you plan a date on a full moon. And since you're trying to get somebody's interest, what you do is you plan on a full moon and on that day, you have to act like you're in a panic. You're like, oh, wait, I can't do it. I have to cancel. And it'll be like, oh, that that's okay. And then you just like, can we rearrange for another time? And they're like, yeah. And then that next day you wake up and send a picture of like your bed hair. And it's like, your face is all messed up. You've got like your shirts off. You've got some claw marks on there. You've got a uh, fur all over your body. You send a picture of that and you're like, oh, what happened? And they're gonna think you're a werewolf. And then when they think you're a werewolf, they're like, oh, this guy's so mysterious. They're like, I want to learn more about this person. <laughs> what if we didn't do the damage? And by that, I mean, we let other creatures do the work for us. Oh God. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my call. down the pyro sniper you like it owed us money Give it a button, Yo, chill. <laughs> get it chill oh i think i'm dead i i'm about to die <laughs> hey child need an advil sorry i'm all out i'm gonna reveal something to you all about this first phase that significantly reduces the tension of it you can literally go from this part to this part all without moving once i'm dead serious there is literally no point in trying at this part of the story because you cannot die and here's another fun fact about this fight you can watch an entire episode of bluey in the time that it takes him to do his final cinematic move i know this because that's exactly what i did sure. mom <laughs> So we decided to watch an episode of Bluey as the fight was going on. <laughs> now you just got stabbed. We're watching cartoon dogs swim in a pool. With all of this evidence gathered, it's time for Farina's sentence. A five star? No, the finally got a five star. I guarantee it's not going to be a character. It glowed orange. How the fuck? <laughs> we made a choice. Go fight we against your fate. Inside the village, we meet Candace. We both know where this is going, so I'll just do it real quick. Candace, dip in your mouth! Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. Huh. Must have been the wind. Why? All my English teachers that sucked. I've had a couple good ones, but my English teacher in college, oh my God. I took intro to lit this semester because literature is required for my major. What happened was we walked into class. He came in and asked a question about the book and nobody answered it. Now, did I do the reading? Yes and no. What happened was I didn't read the actual text thing because why would I spend 20 minutes reading something when I can read a spark note summary in five minutes? So I just did that and he asked us a question and I didn't answer it because you're like, I, I did not care about that class. I was just on my phone. Nobody answered it. And he was like, all right, well, does anybody know? Does anybody know the answer to this? Nobody raised their hand. So he said, all right, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pull out both of the books and you're gonna keep writing. You're gonna write summaries about that book until I say you can stop. 
so everyone got out their paper and they started writing the summaries me you know i'm like the michael jordan of a uh, bullshit so i just i spent like 15 minutes 15 minutes writing on it and i was on my phone and he was looking at me the entire time i was on my phone and i knew he wouldn't do because he's a literature teacher so after an hour literally an hour of most of the class writing he picked up the paper and he said there's two things you need to know about me one i don't like having my time being wasted and two i'm petty he grabbed all the papers and threw it in the trash and dismissed class from that point on did not take him seriously i didn't even take him seriously at that much in the first place because he's like an english teacher and he was trying way too hard savage teacher no what that dude was fucking lame as hell it was so funny because afterwards the whole class was shit talking him and one of the dudes was like i'm glad he didn't read it because i spent the entire time shit talking him on that paper another test subject no! No! That tingle? Scaramouche lived the life of an average Evangelion fan. His parents disowned him, his colleagues didn't like him, and he wasn't allowed near children. He couldn't accept that nobody wanted to watch the show with him. So now, he's trying to make an Ava unit to force everyone to watch it. So we can find a way to stop this god and become a legend. All right, chat, were you guys band kids or uh, PE kids? Band, band, yeah, I was a band kid too. What'd y'all play? I play trombone. Do y'all want to hear one of the solos I did? It's not going to be me performing it, but I can show you what it was. Yes? All right. Inside, we partake in a little bit of gambling because to quote Luke Skywalker, I am a gambling addict like my father before me. Ew, I'm tired. I thought you were Amber. Boom, I'm on a roll. We do one of my favorite hobbies of gaslighting a woman. <laughs> blub blub, he's just drowning. <laughs> Genshin is actually determined by height. The taller a character is, the faster they are. And since Aether is taller than Lumine, we're gonna act like Casey in kindergarten and pick the other boy as the favorite since he's faster. And I'm just gonna put this chat on screen to use as foreshadowing. Final act of leeway. The first thing we need to do is climb Mount Tianhong, which shouldn't really be a problem. I mean, we've climbed other mountains before, so this should be pretty easy. It wasn't. And here lies the tricky part about this. We need to find a way to climb that mountain without using Geo Traveler. Why no Geo Traveler, you may ask? Because we need Animo to activate the device leading to the Jade Chamber. And since we didn't get any other Animo character, we have to use Animo Traveler. This technically wasn't a run killer, but for me, it felt like one. Chad had told me to get the portable waypoint, climb the mountain with Geo, and place it there, but that would have had to take at least a week because of the reputation reward system. It felt like this run was gonna have to be delayed for weeks, but for me, it honestly felt like this was gonna be a dead run. But then I remembered something. Wait, chat. We might have a chance. We might have a chance. There's a very good reason I think we might have a chance. Uh, the cutscene activates very early. If you go to a certain part, the cutscene activates pretty early. If we can get that to happen, Animal Traveler can uh, do it. I think if we can maybe climb those branches over there, it might activate the cutscene and it'll teleport us up there. I don't know if I showcase this, but sometimes I'll just be mid climbing and it'll like teleport me up there. I don't know if that's been in a video, but we're gonna have to try and do that. And slowly but surely, we began to make our way to the top. Wait. Chat! Oh! Booyah, baby! Wow! For me, Chat, I got a, a top five list. Uh, first off, the uh, honorable mention, Korra from... Not Korra. 
Asami from Legend of Korra. That's what I meant to say. That's that's number six, the honorable mention. Thoughts on that? Uh, number five is a tie between a Fubuki and Tatsumaki from One Punch Man. Number four, have any of you guys seen an anime called Scum's Wish? You have? You remember the teacher? The redheaded teacher? She's hot. She's so fine. I swear. Yeah, but she a meanie? Yeah, but she's bad. She's bad. Three? Number three. How many of you guys have seen, like, the melancholy of, like, Harui Suzumiya? Something like that? You remember the Time Traveler? Not the version where she's in high school. The adult version? Chat. The adult version of the Time Traveler girl? <laughs> Two. Sanai from Clanad? Nagisa's mom? Yeah. I'm seeing a pattern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one follows the pattern too. Chat, you're gonna hate me for this last one. Number one, chat, it's not an anime. It's not an anime. And you have to hear me out. I am not a furry, but number one is Chili from Bluey. Not a furry, but she's got what? <laughs> what? I'm not a furry. The did not, I am not a furry. How can I be a furry if every other person on this list is not one? Chat, it's the personality. It's the personality. Okay, so I like one animal and that makes me a furry, huh, chat? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing today, huh? She's independent, a good person, funny. It's just what I need. <laughs> Going into this domain, I had the assumption that Geo Traveler's rocks were not going to work, and that we were just gonna have to hold the L and glide over. But then I did this. Hold up, chat, do we do this? Following that statement was nothing but pain. This was the scariest part of the run by far. Mount Tianhong was nothing compared to this. We had to maneuver around branches that got in our way, bad platforming, and bubbles that would essentially kill us if we got touched. Oh. Can we slide off these? Excuse me? Is that a f***ing bumper pad? What? Why? How the hell? Wait, hold up, never mind. Thoughts? And you still slid off? Is it f***ing ice? It's a rock! Yeah. There's a branch right there. I don't think we make that. Terra smash! We gotta hurry. Yes! Yes! I always knew this day would come. I just didn't want it to. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. And now it's here, or should I say, I am. Time is up, there is no place to hide. Fear won't keep me from becoming a gangster. We start our journey similarly to what started the downfall of my last marriage. Gambling. Here's the difference between Lisa and the other characters so far. They can do physical damage, Lisa cannot. She literally cannot hurt these guys with her attacks unless she has the Eye of Perception. So we are going to have to keep re-rolling accounts until we get the Eye of Perception so we can actually start this challenge. But I mean the odds of us getting it are so low, like this is going to take so long to do. Eye of Perception. No way! Thank you! Thank you, no way! I was fully prepared to keep making new accounts and listening to Outlanders. 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 But thankfully, I did not have to. embraced the spirit of this game, RNG. Pain. 
is the best way I can describe this. I tried this for so long, failed so many times, ate so many crit rate and physical damage food, even though I didn't know that attack buffs did not stack at that time. This part genuinely seemed impossible. I was so close to quitting this entire playthrough, but on one run, I got close to winning. This is definitely possible then. And I wasn't even angry because that one run taught me that this was possible. So I kept trying and we kept failing. But now I can say that ladies and gentlemen, this fight now holds the record for the longest fight that has ever been done on this channel. Because after four hours, we brought down Aleph's health only using Lisa. And we were able to destroy the prisms with Amber. Yes! Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Oh! Finally! Think fast, Chucklenut! After that, I experienced probably the worst example I've seen of someone trying to interact with something only for your character to read a sign. Ha! Why? 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 Please do not be fishing. Oh! Oh! No! No! no. Come on! One more! One more! No! Told her I was going to the bank. Didn't say which one. And sorry for this ugly conglomeration on screen. I was declining Bog Baddy's invitation to join the game. Back at Apple, Steve Jobs is on his way to try and confirm the location of Lesser Lord Kusanali. 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 Ah, here. Lesser Lord Kusanali. And I actually broke a new world record. I became the first person in the history of this game to land Lisa's held skill on a group of enemies. This will be my last jutsu. Act 5, we were given the opportunity to use a new type of summon. <laughs> Hazaha decides to take us out because he wants to see how well we will do against real enemies, one of which includes a hydro slime. Why? I prepared a nice portable dish that forced me. Uh, wh whoops! <laughs> After that fight, we sang to some flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and we can invite Fischl to join our party. Fischl, Princessin, Dare, Vert, uh, just get here. All right. Which allowed her to complete the archery demonstration without any problems. Come on, I'm so close. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh are getting to you? I'll skin you alive. During our trip, we encounter an Oceanid who asks us to find their old lover, Vache. Yeah, here he is. Hey, can I go home now? When we wake up, we get treated to a war zone, but I thought we were in Fortnite. <laughs> you see what I did there? So it's time for another sacrifice. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a sailor by the toe. If the hell has let him go, my mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Stay with me. Yeah, so when the bonus crystals reset, I dropped $15, which ended up getting me a, a certain Hydro 5-star Catalyst user. Oh, it buffered. This is 5-star. <laughs> ah, my connection. Farina. 
<laughs> there she is at last but uh yeah yeah i got mona that was the five star hydro catalyst i tried to get nouvellet but i, I got mona <laughs> yeah no he's not tall enough yes he is <laughs> yeah i like to solve the puzzle all right go ahead <laughs> that's it yeah uh oh looks like her armpits are exposed the either way we finally get to do some fighting so let's see hydro goku in action But another sacrifice is nearing, because after this quest, it's time for the Fatui hideout, which gives 2,000 XP. So, we're gonna have to make another choice. Well, this is it. The character that will be chosen to level up is Rosaria. But we still need to make a sacrifice. In order to get the last tier, we had to give up Noel. Her efforts will not be forgotten. And as we collect the last tier, Noel is no longer level one. I'm sorry, little one. Stay with me. We came across something that should not have been as big of a problem as it was a ladder. Yep, I'm being serious, a ladder. Just show this chat message again. I don't know what it is about Dainsliff and his quest, but it requires a lot more parkour than I thought. Our first obstacle was the second jump. Yes, the second jump was a problem for us. After 30 minutes, we were able to jump over the little gap with Kirara. We got it. Ooh, but we're still not done yet. There's still more fun to have. Imagine that ladder section in Inazuma, but the ground is a bottomless pit. That's essentially what this part was, but I'm a creature. I adapt and I learn. No! Our team didn't have much synergy, but it did have type coverage, so I knew that the enemies were not gonna be much of an issue. The problem with this domain did not come from the enemies, but rather the elevator section. Oh! But then I looked at chat and someone suggested the idea of placing the rocks on the gears So I gave it a shot and it worked kinda the rocks went on the chains next to the gears not the gears themselves Which did allow us to cross over and obtain the last symbol and because of that chatter We were able to finish the rest of the domain without using stamina We need to help this man by breaking his brother out of the amber, but what's this our summons don't hurt the crystals so it seems like he's on his own for this. Oh, I know. Why don't we just use Baron Bunny? Oh. Oh. In the mini stream, so glad I got to raid you all. Oh, happy birthday, birds. I didn't know it was your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, hold up. That's, a, that's, wait, it's your birthday, right? Hold up, chat, you know what that means. It's time for them to show up, birds. You're gonna like this. It's time for Boys Who Cry. It's all about you, birds! On your birthday, birthday! Pay attention to you, birds! Everyone has to do just what you say! You got your very own spotlight tonight, cause it's all about you! Yeah, it's all about birds! <laughs> but last, and certainly least, we have Amber in her summon, Baron Bunny. <laughs> you thought you'd never see me again, didn't you? Well, too bad! I didn't even try to turn this into a joke segment talking about how quote-unquote good this ability is, because it's not. It's so bad, I hate it so much. But it's hard to hit enemies because this ability is f terrible! During this time, enemies can just walk away or hit it away from them, and we're left with only one option. Push it! But that doesn't even work half the time because this ability doesn't have any range. Please hit both. Please hit both. Oh. There's three things about this ability that blow my mind. One, someone thought of it. Two, another person saw the design and approved it. And three, they both got paid for it. Was it too much to ask for by just having it to where if you press the skill again, it detonates? 
Is that too much work for you to make such a simple change? Who are you, Mojang? And as we make our way to the entrance, we get interrupted with one of the best changes they ever made to this game. I used to pray for times like this. Unfinished comedy, more like never gonna be finished comedy. <laughs> we talk to Nouvellette and discover that he is actually the Hydro Dragon. Yeah, it was pretty obvious. We've only met three Hydro characters in this story so far, and one of them admitted to being the god, so it was only down to these two. You enter the room here, right? And there's like four enemies, one, two, three, four. You get close to one and the other guys go like pew, pew, pew and hit you in the back. And since you're a little soy who can't eat their vitamins, you die in one hit. Even when you run away like this, shoo, they still catch you because it's like running away from your responsibilities. Eventually they catch up, don't, 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 don't. Which holds the part that some of you may have been curious about the archery demonstration. To begin, we put our first rock on this line. That way, it can only hit the targets on top and in the middle of the bench. Next, we head over to the east bench and place two rocks on the back. After we place the third rock down, we immediately swap to Amber, throw out Baron Bunny, and run over to he who shall not be named so we can start the challenge. Once we begin, we immediately look to the left and aim our rock for the middle. By doing this, we set up our rock for the fifth wave and destroy the first rock to remove the second and third target. Then, we time our Baron Bunny throw so that it goes out as soon as the targets hits 4 out of 20. That way, when this ability is ready to go off, it'll explode and hit the 6 target as it spawns in. Then, we aim our skill on top of the rock, so that way it'll hit the blue target that is currently inside of the rock and avoid hitting the red targets. With wave 5 started, we can leave the rock there because it'll hit all 4 of those targets. And now, we have a minute to get off 2 rocks and 2 Baron Bunnies. We turn back east and aim our rock for that second dent which perfectly lines up to hit those two dummies. As we line up our Baron Bunny for one of the northern targets, our rock on the west side eliminates four targets. While we wait for Baron Bunny, we use our skill to remove another two targets. Then we make a very tactical decision. I quickly swapped my Traveler in and out of the party because we need his skill for the last target of this wave. But if we had used it, this rock on the side would have exploded and hit the red target. This is why I swapped the Traveler in and out. By doing this, the rocks currently on the field disappear. And more importantly, they don't explode. Meaning there were currently no rocks on the field so we could throw a new one out at the target to finish off wave five. And now we've reached the final wave, wave six. We threw Baron Bunny towards the center and placed a rock on the eastern target. Then we were met with the final obstacle. We took aim, ready to place our rock, but we were focusing on the red target to its left. Why would we do this? Those clips I showed you earlier shared something in common. A common trend that I caught onto after having done this for almost three hours. For some reason, the damage from this ability comes out from the left first. I have no idea why, but that's how it works. All those other times, we were hitting the target on the blue one's right side first, which resulted in failures. Because of this development, I chose to aim our rock to the right, resulting in the damage hitting the furthest left target, which just so happened to be... Wait. Yes! Yes! Finally! Oh my god. Fuck you! Can Lisa destroy all of the targets? Yes, but it's tricky. You have more control over where lightning strikes in real life than you do in this game. Come on, strike me down, Zeus. You don't have the ball. I did this archery demonstration for 12 hours trying to get lightning to hit in all of the spots, but it just did not happen. At the 12 hour point, I decided I was gonna try something different. I was still gonna use Lisa to destroy all of the targets, but I needed some help. So I decided to use Geo Traveler to give her a vertical boost so she could hit the targets on the top row. Only one problem, this box does not let you move too high up. If you reach a certain height, it will restart the demonstration, but it's very inconsistent because there are some places you can stay stand on the rock and have it not reset, but not for others. But after enough tries, I did find a spot that works for Lisa to stand on. But there was still another problem. For one target in particular, we needed to turn around, but Lisa can't really do that. We couldn't place the rock over there and jump on it since it would kick us out, and we can't turn around on our side without falling off. Which is where I got the idea of using Amber. By using Amber, we can aim with her bow, which forces us to change where we're looking without moving us. So all we needed to do was swap to Amber, aim for our next target, swap back to Lisa, and then use our skill. With this strategy, we were able to break all of the targets with Lisa, 
after 12 and a half hours. Well, there you have it. Give me out! You, 12 hours! Cool. Half a f day of my life! After having to listen to. <laughs> Pressure getting to you? <laughs> Pressure getting to you? <laughs> Pressure getting to you? For over 12 hours. This moment almost yourself. made it all worth it. <laughs> Pressure getting to you? Come on, Tepe. Hey, this is no way to demonstrate. Doing? Come on, Tepe. Oh, Get up, before. you piece of <laughs> Do something for once in your life, you <laughs> bottom feeder. I hope the last thing you see is me in front of your <laughs> face, pointing and laughing at you, you worthless, stupid, pansy <laughs> sack of <laughs> hairy gorilla ass punching piss boy get out of my game in order to actually clean out the withering zone we have to destroy the withering branches with either charged attacks or aim shots which are moves that our pokemon unfortunately cannot learn so it seems like this is the first can't unless we had a character that used a summon for their normal attacks remember earlier when i said there was another character we needed that character was dory i just wanted to play farina there's probably a good bit of you out there that have never played dory before and i envy you but her normal attacks are special in that she sits upon the genie who is swinging the claymore this counts as the genie attacking not dory and because of this Genie was able to destroy the withering branches and we could progress. And you're probably wondering if I could have used the genie's normal attacks throughout this entire journey, why didn't I? Because it's simple. I don't want to play Dory. Katheta then jumps in to save us by swapping everyone's AirPods with Raycon earbuds, the sponsor of today's video. No, it's it's not really, but it would be cool. Uh, Raycon, my DMs are open. Today, we are going to try and beat Genshin Impact only using the first true healer in the game, Barbara. But can we really call this a challenge? I mean, Barbara's been nerfed recently, which means that she must have been pretty good. So this should be pretty easy, right? I hated this. Have I seen the JoJo references in Family Guy? No, but I've seen the one in Paw Patrol. This is the kind of gift that makes me want to sing. But I did learn something new in this domain, which means it's time for another episode of Cool Strats with Chris. <laughs> Once you get to the elevator, you can hug this wall and activate the switch, making it to where you don't have to fight those enemies. It's very cool, and that's all for today's episode of Cool Strats with Chris. Ooh, yes sir! Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through- <laughs> Next was Cloud Retainer, and thankfully this cooking pot was already lit, because if I had to wait another 8 seconds for this ability to do something, I might jump out of my room. To start, we need to heat up the cooking pot, which we have to use Baron Bunny for. Well, I guess I have to do it now. It takes six of these, by the way. Last proper temple. Bring, 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 bring. Hold up, wait. Oh, I sorry. I got, oh, wow, that's a phone call from Hoyoverse. Hey, John Hoyoverse. Hey, uh, the Michael Jordan of Genshin Impact. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing summons right now for, for Kazaha. I got 10 pulls left. Can you make sure this one is, uh, him? Uh, yeah, the MJ of GI. Sure. Let me do it in the coding. Beep, 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 beep. All right, uh, this last one's gonna be Kazaha. All right, thanks, John Hoyoverse. Uh, bye. All right, sorry, I'm back. I had to take a phone call. It was really weird, but anyway, uh, we should be getting a Kazaha on this pool. I am, I am quitting. Five star. Okay, this has to be it. Please. Another 50 50 win. Please. Oh, no. Please. Yes! Wow! Ooh! Ooh! C6! My first C6 character! Yes! Ooh, I think y'all know what this calls for. Get ready for the biggest booyah of your freaking lives. Booyah, baby! Wow! Ooh! I can finally get a Kaya constellation. I got a five star C6 before I ever got a, uh, before I ever got a, uh, Kaya constellation. That's, I, I actually don't know how I feel about that. Let's see this, the Crimson Mamiji. I've had a couple nicknames in my life. Okay, so the ones I can remember are One Stick, Professor X, Abe Lincoln, what was the other one? Orlando. So the most recent one is uh, Abe Lincoln. That's because uh, me and my friends played a game called, uh, 
I'm not sure if I can say this person's name out loud, but a secret fascist, secret uh, World War II German leader. In games like that in Among Us, I always tell the truth. I never lie. And so I'd get called uh, Abe Lincoln for that. I was called One Stick because whenever we were cleaning up my grandma's house, we'd have to clean up the outside and like collect sticks and burn them. I'd always pick the biggest stick, but I do it one stick at a time. And my uncle got mad at me because he said I was doing it too slow, too slow, and he called me one stick. In Orlando, that goes with my uh, embarrassing life thing that someone asked about earlier. As most of you know, my first name's Chris. There was two Chris's in my classroom, and the teacher was like, "All right, since there's two of y'all, what's a nickname I can give you guys?" And I said, "Orlando." Everyone was confused and they said, why Orlando? And I said, because like the basketball player, I bloom awesomeness. I said that unironically. There's a lot of things wrong with that statement, chat. One, he's not a basketball player. He's an actor. And two, it just uh, does not make sense. You would get bullied so hard if you were in my school. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Blowing bubble, blowing zaza. She got big old titties. I said goo goo, goo gaga. Scram. Scram. Hey, Aleph. Aleph's fight was actually doable with Lisa up until the last section. We were able to defeat Aleph with just Lisa thanks to the Eye of Perception, but it can only take us so far. For the revival portion of this fight, Lisa can do essentially nothing to Aleph. She might as well be throwing paper at it. This is why Amber is here. Thanks to Amber and her Amos bow, we were able to defeat Aleph after failing and watching the Senora cutscene four times. We ate the cold cut platter to increase our physical damage, and we were able to defeat Senora. Bad word. You. Bad word. Bad word. You. Yes. So, Sanganomiya is the name of the place where Sanganomiya Kokomi lives? Wow. What a genius. Most Catalyst characters cannot mine, and Barbara is one of them. You don't mind. But she does have one thing that most other Catalyst characters don't have, a bomb. So I tried to use that on the rocks, and a whole bomb explosion does not hurt them. So it was time for a big think moment. I remembered that Lisa was able to cause overload with Electro and Pyro, and I noticed that one of the enemies in this area was an Electro Archer, who could give us the Electro status. So theoretically, if we were to be given either the Electro or Pyro, status and we collided with the opposite element we should be able to cause overload and break the amber so i gave it a shot and as i was setting up these pyro slimes in the electro archer i normal attacked which caused my eye of perception to go off and kill the electro archer <laughs> the pyro slimes to come over to the amber along with the electro archer and the brother wasn't in this room so we went to the amber that was furthest down the mountain brought the pyro mage over to it and burnt the grass then we got shot by the electro archer so we could cause overload hit me hit me hit me come on hit me hit me, hit me. Ah! Hit me. which did break the amber that was holding the brother yes let's go oh, let's go german on the flight sitting next to me and so on the flight back, it was a uh, it was a row of three. We were in the middle. There were three seats. The first seat on the left was empty. The second seat, a German guy was sitting there. And on the third seat, it was me in the aisle. The German guy was sitting in the middle. And there was an aisle row that was completely open. And the flight attendant went up to him and said, hey, if you want, you can uh, take that seat. No one's going to take uh, You can go to that empty seat because no one's going to be there. And he was like, okay. He straight up told the woman, okay. And he didn't move there. He didn't move there. He used all the leg room on that side, including the middle side. So he had two third of the leg room while I only had one third. And I was, it was so uncomfortable. He didn't fucking move. And I was like, well, you know, maybe it's okay. He, may, he might not know English. He's German. He may not know English. So he just said, okay. So I thought that until about an hour and a half into the flight, I looked over and I saw that on his screen, he was watching a show with English subtitles. So I was like, what the f- Primo won't forget this. It's time for some primordial wrath. <laughs> Solo Barbara is kind of like a double-edged sword, except one of those edges is exponentially longer than the other and is piercing you constantly. Here are Barbara's strengths. She cannot die. Let the show go. No, no. 
Hydro cannot hurt Hydro, so we need to find a new solution. We need our bubbles to defy logic. We need to go beyond. We need the Eye of Perception. But there's a very low chance that we will get this item, and we have to have it before we finish Mondstadt. When I'll do anything, I'll do whatever it takes to... Oh, no wonder Barbara sucks. No shot. Of course. Of course that hit me. Never mind, I can't. Please, man. Please! Of course! Oh, damn, what happened? We took down a Ruin Guard and glided right past a Hydro Mage because... <laughs> no. Boar is impossible with this? Nothing's impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. I learned that on a uh, eighth grade English teacher's poster in the classroom, so clearly it has to be true. By the time we started the Jade Chamber, we did actually have some good damage on our team. Too bad we couldn't use it, though. Booyah, baby, that was a good one. Junior's on. Be scared. Who are you? And you make my illness go away? After that... The voice said, No. And she cannot die. <laughs> Get it because she's a zombie? Seriously, the sword is about as big as her. She might as well be swinging another version of herself. She's bad at climbing. What? And the sprinting. Dear Lord, the children are so slow. And to make things worse, she only has one sprint voice line. Faster? Okay, faster. So every time I pressed this button, I had to hear faster. faster? Okay, faster, faster, okay, faster, faster, okay, faster, faster, okay, faster. Yeah, I know what'll make you move faster. Four year old spotted. Pitbull mode activated. You agreed to bring all of the scholars. Oh, I lied. He would not die. Why does he look so shocked? And why is she so pissed? Is is this grass? What What is this supposed to be? So many jokes can be made with this, so I, I'm just not even gonna try. Just leave her alone. I can't do that. She's seen too much. You both have. It doesn't have to be this way. I have no choice. Times have changed. But kidnapping children? I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die. Nope. Well, I guess we're not doing abyss. Go, go, buried buddy. Go, go, buried buddy. Go, go and fight some really, really, really obnoxious enemies. <laughs> this fight basically went like Raichu versus Pikachu in the anime. We are essentially the budget version of the Shogun. She is completely immune to Electro, which means that all of our damage had to come from the Eye of Perception. I almost quit this entire playthrough because of this one part. I didn't have any more eggs to give our team members, so if one of my damage dealers died, I had to reset. The strategy to defeat Aleph was extremely forehead. Just don't get hit once. I had to get basically a perfect run. I couldn't get hit, and I had to maximize the little damage I did as much as possible. And we did, with almost a minute to spare. Oh. No, we lost our Ningguang and we still had to do more damage. So it was full gamer time. I did the most damage that we possibly could and we were able to get to the final elemental prison. We only have less than seven seconds left and Hazo is our best option. I mash as fast as possible on the keyboard and gamer lean all the way onto the floor. And we did it. Yes! With little time to spare. Plays like that are the reason why I'm the three-time back-to-back-to-back winner of the Best Gamer Award. And here are our rewards. Their names are Jack and Shit. Next is Cloud Retainer, and thankfully John never watched far enough into my videos to learn about this skip. And we have another problem. I'll just show you a picture, and I'll let you guess what the issue is. Lisa cannot break these rocks. What a shock. <laughs> Nilu tells us that the man who was talking to her introduced himself as Yoshikage Kira. Kira Queen, Daisan Bakudan, Baita Dasto.
We spend the day with Dunyarzad, and the next day, I think we both know where this is going, so I'll just skip to the one combat part in this entire act. Here we go. Here we go. Spring forward. I hear everything. One with the forest. That would give a medieval peasant a stroke. Germinate. Time for takeoff. Time for takeoff. We've narrowed down our possible suspects to three people. But since none of them seem to be playable characters, this could prove quite difficult. Let's go with the old guy, because he's not gonna live much longer anyway. All right, chat, for this next pool, I want you guys to I want you guys to act like I actually did get a five star. We'll do like a little throwback. <gasps> Holy, uh, no, there's no way. Oh my God. Yo! Oh! <laughs> do no way. In order to grab these real maritime flowers, you have to make them wet first, but we can't do that. Now we can enter the chasm, and Chi Chi was actually able to perform a new skip here. Since she's so small, she can squeeze into here and avoid fighting the Geo Bishop, which is a huge time saver. Too bad it saw us though when we were leaving. <gasps> oh no, bro! He just sucks me up and punches me. It's like fighting Doomfist, but instead of getting stunned and one-shotted, I just get one-shotted. So I guess there's one upside to fighting him over Doomfist. With my current team comp, this part seemed basically impossible. So I went back to the Golden Apple to gain some more Prima Gems so I could make a wish. Praying that I get one of these two Pyro characters so we can deal with the Electro Witch. And my prayers were answered. Do not be Yoonjin. This... After Hoyoverse decided to screw with me because God has a sense of humor. Please be a pyro. Whoa, okay. Pyro, pyro, pyro. Thank you. Thank you. We got Jin Yan, who was the other best thing to happen to us in this challenge. I know that probably makes all five Jin Yan players happy to hear. I had to take down that shield using the physical orb from the eye. Oh my God. This fight took over 40 minutes. 40 minutes of me waiting to get physical damage, all while dodging its attacks as we circle around Half Dan's corpse. Last orb, there it is. Victory! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> cool. The only bit of joy I got from this quest, aside from the great cutscene at the end, was watching Barbara's hair bounce up and down while we were walking with Dunyarzad. I hate replaying this quest so much. Please add a skip cutscene button, Hoyoverse. Act 2 of Sumeru sucks. That's right, I said it. I think Act 2 sucks. reach Inazuma, we have to ice bridge over to the Alcor, which shouldn't be a problem because, oh no, you've got, okay. You have come, what has been done can't be undone. Then why do I hear, I mean, see sadness in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. And take down his security cameras. With his defense down, we can finally get to Devalin. The trick to doing this fight is not really a trick at all. I just lied to you. Did you steal it from your master's face? He thought he was cooking. He thought he was cooking with that. And he said, get the f out of here. Shut out your talk. <laughs> Mute the game volume and dub over your game. Dub over the game myself. All right, hold up. Ugh. Don't push your luck. Now it's time for the desert, and for this area, I decided to change my team comp. Other content creators don't want you to know about this team comp because they're trying to gatekeep it. They don't want you to clear Abyss, and they've been hiding this from you. Barbara, Fischl, Sayu, Candace, or as I like to call it, Ballsack. What more could you need in life? After trying out Candace's ability for the first time in my life, we head up the hill and fight off some bandits. So you guys will get to see this team comp work in action. The main thing to note is that Candace's shield ability is actually pretty good in this challenge. It absorbs a lot of damage and it does a fair amount of damage. It's like playing Zhongli, but I have to put in a lot more effort without getting anywhere close to the same results. Please don't be immune to Hydro, please don't be immune to Hydro, please don't be immune to Hydro. The good news is that she's not immune to Hydro, but she does have 70% resistance to it. At this point, I 
I'll take it. Thank you, Hoyoverse, for not making her immune. We make our way to the depths, and you son of a bitch, we have to fight a Hydro Abyss Herald. I tried to use this Pyro Mage to burn some grass to help destroy the shield faster, but all that ended up doing was making its health bar reset because he went out of range. But I did get some help this time thanks to the Electro Abyss Mage. There you go, Hoyaverse. We were able to use Electro Charged because of its shield, which, yeah, it didn't do much, but it was still better than nothing. Fight another Hydro Abyss Herald. These fights answer the question of what were to happen if an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. The answer is Barbara. There's nothing that can stop her. We take on an Electro Abyss Herald. Wait, 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 what? Wait, I can't, I can't, I can't believe this. This can't be real. Let me clean up the screen real quick. A main story herald that's not Hydro? They did it. They actually did it. Well, you can tell but this fight does get challenging for us once Scaramouche gets legs. To collect these flowers, I chose to use the Goon Squad and we went through basically the same experience Baron Bunny had earlier with the Pyro Puzzles. Inside the remains, we come across a Ruin Guard and two rogues but they just need to give up at this point. For some reason, Fontaine characters like to hurt themselves, and Hydro Goku is no exception to this. We can now start the climactic battle with the whale. It didn't really go too well for us. With the whale problem finished, we meet up with Honkai Impact the Third, Hoyle vs. Flagship Game. That's not a sponsor segment, but it could have been. Come on, John. I finally got Farina. And you know what's crazy? I'm the only person who has her. I like, it's actually insane. Like if you lost your 50-50, that was me. You think you got Farina? Check again. That was me. You thought you were playing her in the trial domain? Look in the bottom right of the screen. That UID, that was mine. You were just using my account for a little bit. All those guide videos, worthless. You want to know why? Because you can't have her. You can't have her, and you're not going to have her. She's all mine. No one else's. I am the only Farina player in the world, and don't you forget it. This is the lowest selling banner of all time with only $100, and that's all mine. All these other content creators, they're using my accounts, okay? I'm such a nice and humble person that I will let other people share my wife. Okay, not like that. But the last pillar was an issue, mainly because Barbara is short. As we learned in the last challenge, speed in Genshin is determined by height. And as of this moment, medium-sized females are the fourth fastest character types in this game, out of five. Once we pick up the Dendrogona, we have 30 seconds to teleport and reach the top to activate the pillar. But the thing is, Chi Chi is too, too slow. slow. She can almost get there, but in the end, she falls short. Uh. Close, but no cigar, which is probably good. Kids shouldn't smoke. After refining our Skyward Swords together, That's we gathered our Dendrogona, teleported to the hospital, used our burst, and ran like the wind. <laughs> He's doing it! <laughs> He's really doing it! Because of this massive IQ play, we were just barely able to activate the puzzle. Oh yeah, baby! Ooh. Ah. If you time the passive to complement the ability, Turn around, kid. It'd be a crime. If I had to go back on the promise that I made for you. Ah. When we use Goku's hold skill, we lose HP. The idea is that it's like a trade-off. We consume HP to do damage, and we get water droplets to heal ourselves back up. In theory, it sounds fine, but in practice, it is not that fun to play around, especially since the enemies could block me from getting them, even though I'm right there. This creature was the closest thing to killing us in this entire run, mainly because it kept spamming its ground pound move. It was kind of like that one person in Smash who spams Kirby down B in the air. Four star bow character, four star bow character. Yes, four star bow character, four star bow character, four star bow character. <laughs> and enjoy a relaxing dinner with Zhang Li. Never mind. Fischl or Sara? Fischl or Sara? Fischl or Sara? Fischl or Sara? Bow character at least. This is not real. Is this a joke? We really needed gleeful songs. And last, but definitely not least was cloud retainer it was a journey to get to cloud retainer we had to climb up two mountains to get to her this is where our dynamic duo of geo traveler and kaya really started to shine michael jordan's rocks plus kaya's genetics made climbing the impossible actually possible and we're gonna get a five star on one of these pools do i know which one no but we are uh, uh... Ah. How, 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 the door's right there, the door's right there, how? 
The door's right there. Once again, this was another clean sweep for Barbara up until the Hydro Mage. Barbara just kind of turns the broom around at this point. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? What? What the fuck? That actually scared me. God damn, that scared. Oh, I have no idea if that picked it up. A piece of paper fell behind me, and it that scared. Wow, challenge is so boring. I need some Family Guy. It seems today. But something weird happens after this fight. Hoyaverse reuses Child's final attack animation as a punch, and because of this, he holds an invisible bow at the end. Hoyers, they're here. Get them. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Oh, he's pulling his cock out! All right, John Hoyoverse, you gotta level with me. Why does Geo hurt Cryo Abyss Made shields, but not Cryo Fatui? First, it was physical damage. Now this. Why? I just want to know why. I just, I just want to know. I just want to know. I just, I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. It was my honor to serve. Did she die? Why? Which is why we have the newest innovation of Beyblade technology. An automatic gun. Yes! Xinyan! Woo! Yes! What is things people have never said in their life? C4! Ozora Genpo. I'm so sorry I said that. <laughs> Prediction? We're getting three four stars on this banner, including Zhang Ling. We are going to get a yo-yo and a four-star weapon. We got, we got two Zhang Lings, okay, but yeah. Our team building exercise includes dealing with the security guard inside of the nurse's office. Now this is a five star if I've ever seen one. I'm colorblind. Oh no, it never charted! There we go. Everything relies on this. Please, you gave me a sword. Please don't give me Paiju's weapon again. Please. No! I should have been more specific. I gotta keep going. I have to. I'm the only Farina player in the world. It'd be a disservice. You don't have to keep asking me. It's me. I know I'm making bad decisions. I don't care. Leave me alone. I... I... Thank you. I for real just feel like Farina just weeping alone on my throne. This is it. The consequences of my actions. Doesn't even matter at this point. I swear to fuck God. Yeah. Next up was the Cryo Fatui Gunner. But I'll be honest, I was not in the mood to fight a Cryo Gunner with a character who can't break their shield and who constantly applies wet to themselves. So I decided to jump around and skip him. But even that was problematic because Barbara is vertically challenged. It was time for the first phase of the Skarmouche fight. Or if you're a regular on this channel, you would recognize this as the Watching Bluey episode part of the fight. Bomb. I'm <laughs> Once the episode was finished, and now my fan fiction of Ling Lee can come true or not because Gan Yu decided to cock block us. My apologies. <gasps> Don't be such no! a <laughs> Going out is what? Hard. Raise our hand and utter the words by Odin's beard, which created a massive thunderbolt to strike down this beast. Paimon doesn't feel so good. But hey, at least we get some of those post-patch primos. Let's see who we get. Please be a character we don't have. There's literally no way. Honestly, I don't even know what to expect. You know what? That's fine. That's cool. I'm not even angry. We get C1 Hazo in. That's pretty good. So I'm not even mad. What a great game. But when I called this a good game, he got angry and started attacking me. So I guess he doesn't agree with me. <laughs> what? The last problem is our good friend Aleph. He heard that I was talking some shit earlier, so we decided to get a lot more health. This room was a bitch. Cutscene time. <laughs> my bad, chat. My bad. There's really not much to say about this fight, to be honest. I, I really do wish I could say more, but I can't. It was literally just me dodging for 17 minutes and doing around 3k damage every 12 seconds. Whoops. I charged attack there, didn't I? Oh! It's the better thing to do that. Oh. I swam. Uh, here for a while. 
Whoops. I did it again. What? I did it! Oh. Are you kidding me? Wait. Whoops. Oh my god. Hold up. Is he gonna say the voice line? Bird. Bird. Yeah, there he goes. Bird. Majoring in. I literally saw it. I literally saw it. I could have scrolled down. I literally saw it. And fighting not one, but two Hydro Abyss Mages. Just a quick shout out to Lynn for clapping along and not helping us here. And head over to Port Or- And head over to Port Or- Ormos. Almost. I, I can't say it. At the port- The dance of sub -Zeris. Is the Temple of Anubis. Now. But unlike Overwatch, these enemies don't one-shot me. So that's another thing this game has against Overwatch. Eat a body part. Oh, bad word. You suck. Bad word. You suck. God. But whenever it starts raining, it's just the best feeling in the world. Because Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. This is going to get interesting. Mainly because it was raining and Cryo is always far more effective. First thing is the domain before Scaramouche. We are running Noel, GeoMJ, Kaya, and a level one Fischl because someone in chat really wanted me to use Fischl. Ten pool, five star, right here. You already know we gotta close the eyes. Next one right here. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. All right, show me the Wanderer. Let's go! There was nothing to fear. Nothing to fear at all. Uh, easiest 50-50 of my life. Boom! <laughs> I forgot I named him Fortnite. Are we getting Yanfei? We're getting the bell. We might not get her. Yeah, I don't think we're getting Yanfei. We're safe. I guess you could say we were saved by the bell. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Feet, back at it again with another 10 pull. Let's go ahead and get this one started. Wow, a four star. I'm so excited, guys. Let's see what we get. A Favonius. Oh, oh my gosh. A Favonius Warbo? No way. I thought those were only in Legends. In, in a debate club? Guys, guys, this is absolutely insane. Make sure you guys follow my Twitter and send me the pics of all the debate clubs you get in your pools. Guys, this is literally insane. Oh my goodness. Like, holy smokes, man. What the deuce? I can't believe we're getting all of this good stuff. And we didn't even get a character, which means I get to spin the wheel again. But it's okay because we got the Favonius Warbo. Okay, so these questions have to be a meme, right? I, cause, cause I don't sound like any of these people. I really don't hear these. All right, four star, electric, an electric Warbo character. Oh my God. Who seems a lot more intimidating than she actually is. It is very easy to cheese this fight. Sir. Now Lenny is on trial for murder, but not Lynette for some reason, huh? Why not Genshin? Are you not for women's equality? In The Last Nation, we learned to think, but now we have evolved. We now know how to read and write. Farina claims that Lenny vented and killed the female NPC, but when the male NPC saw it and tried to report him, Lenny shoved him into the box, which killed him. This is the truth of the events. Objection! Nuh uh. What you mean, nuh uh? And before you say, ah, uh, Mr. Feet, you're so funny and attractive, it has a 15 second duration, so it's really only on a 15 second cooldown. Oh my god. Let's compare this ability to the other five stars. Oh wait, they're all better and are faster by at least 10 seconds. You know, this character kind of reminds me of someone. They're both short, they generate little energy, they both have skills on way too long of a cooldown, their skills have little range, a circular burst that heals them, and a reliance on normal attacks to do damage. Yep, this character is basically another Barbara, but with cryo, a sword, and add damage to her abilities. Also, just like take away a foot. And lastly, the burst. It goes way too fast. Seriously, why is it so fast? What is this thing's problem? Where does it need to go? So flash forward back to the opera house and we reveal to the audience that we can talk. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. The traveler speaks and I listen. Basically, Nouvellet was being a little scaredy piss boy and didn't want to accept the invitation. But of course, my goat, AKA my Archon, chose to accept it. What, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And before you ask why I was upset, it's because we're never safe to use a weapon that's not the Eye of Perception. We head inside of the tree domain, which was a weirdly calm experience. I mean, there weren't any Hydro Mages or Hydro Hair- This is my Joker moment. Or not actually, because it's not real. Whew. 
At least one of my demons are fake. Thanks to pushing, we were able to meet our Baron Bunny quota. Other than that, I don't really know what more to say about this fight. It went the same as last time. Toss out Baron Bunny, toss out Guoba, Baron Bunny misses, an Electro Summon does more damage than Baron Bunny would have done, rinse and repeat, and it's over. <laughs> will most likely be facing off against monsters in this gladi gladiatorial air arena. The thing I'm fairly certain of is that this will be my last journal entry. Thank God. Illegitimate child. What the fuck? The pool on. Now that we've got that covered, let's see if we can beat Fontaine only using the lore accurate traveler. <laughs> Doing this domain reminded me of how useful Dendro actually was in combat until we reached the Cryo Abyss Herald. We do not do much damage to this enemy, and it's only made worse when he puts his elemental shield up. Just take a look at this. He moves right there! There! Another new bit of information we learn is that the name of this country is actually pronounced Fortnite. But we overhear a girl say that our joke wasn't funny. Which, to her credit, she is kind of right. But we choose to respond with words made famous by the Electro Archon. You should kill yourself now! Oh my gosh, she's actually gonna do it. This is the Knave. Her eyes are literally just a dark, twisted version of the Xbox logo. Yep, we just don't- Don't interrupt me when I'm- Yes, sir. We come across easily the worst part about being a newbie in the workplace, meeting the Boomer co-worker. Looks like they got you doing the easy work, huh, Cupcake? I just got out of a 250-hour unpaid shift of crushing my legs in a hydraulic press. Because of his hydro vision, we were able to see some of Child's experiences while he was here in the prison. I guess you could say it gave us a vision. <laughs> oh, boo yourselves! It says that if you work for three days straight, something bad will happen on the third day during lunch. But to us, it just seems like these snowflakes are afraid of doing some hard work. Razor, I hardly know her. <laughs> oh girl, won't you stop? Won't you stop loving me this much? I guess. Aw, oh, I will. Have a good day. Less than three. If I don't, why? Well, I mean, this guy ships me with you, so I guess I do. You don't have to worry about that. The Eye of Perception. The Eye of Perception description states that the bolt can bounce between enemies a maximum of four times. The key word in this sentence is can, but personally, I think they need to put the phrase when it feels like it at the end of the description. I was about to have a panic attack because of the large hydro slime, but thanks to these landmines on the ground, we didn't really have to worry about them. You have to go over to Wolfendom to fight the Hydro Herald again. This enemy isn't hard, but it's so monotonous. And Razor, I get that you're trying to defend your wolf friend over there, but seriously, no one else is here. Can you please help me kill this thing? At least Lynn gave emotional support. Oh, I've been on the low, I've been taking my time. Some things never change even though I really wish they would by now. And yes, I know about the back entrance, but I will never use it. Please stop commenting about it. Or, you know, you can keep doing it because it'll help the video out. With the halftime performance finished, it was now time for the main event. A once in a lifetime moment, child versus child. It looks like in this encounter, he stayed a child, but we became the pit bull. Ooh. You start to learn how to appreciate the smaller uh. things in life after only playing as Barbara. So all we had to do was just walk away and use our E and God! Outlanders, your journey ends here. <laughs> Easy. Oh no. Are you kidding? When she put the Vision Hunt decree into action, I laughed because it really didn't change much. We got our burst at the beginning, but after two minutes, this is how close we were to getting it back. It is mindless. You can literally just turn off your brain and run at the enemy the entire game. My ranked teammates must also have this mentality too. <sighs> It was a little tricky at first because Barbara is short, which makes these sort of things a lot harder to do. But after five minutes of trying to jump on this rock, we were able to get on top of this area and glide over to the respawn zone. Go, Barbara, go! 
But Barbara can't because you know what. Maybe if she was as tall as her big sister, she could make it this way, but she can't. Now, let me just clarify and say that I do not have a problem with short women. I have problems with people who won't get up the fucking tree. If a player kicks a football from ground level with an initial velocity of 27 meters per second, 30 degrees above the horizontal, find the ball's hang time, the ball's maximum height, and the horizontal distance the ball travels before hitting the ground. I am not going to do that. That's supposed to be the pyro flower. This one sucks. One, two, three. One debt to society later. I shot 1,340 arrows. Don't worry. After placing our bets on both people, we wake up the next morning and see a package being delivered to us. Huh. It says it's from Ted Kaczynski. That was a joke, just so he could get a meeting with the knave. All I can say is... I understand, but I still would not have done it because I'm married. And as he charges at the Duke, he gets shot. Inside the city, we see the damages caused by the slurp juice and the destruction it has brought to such important characters like Disaster Victim M, Desiree's father, and Disaster Victim F. On his end, we encounter my ex-wife. All of those stories have finally come together. Oh no, Hoyoverse. You should have covered the feet. <laughs> I'll just show you this clip and let you interpret how it went for the other 12 barricades. We also got this pretty raw image of Kaya and the singer back to back. And yes, you can screenshot this if you want. The penultimate battle was against Child, which means our Baron Bunny mandate is back in action. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't help it. It's so flavorful. I will now count how many times I did the archery demonstration with Lisa in that 12 hour experiment. One. 3.28 a.m. I did it 566 times. This room was definitely not big enough for the four of us. This felt like a cartoon character walking into a cabinet only to get their ass handed to them. The next day, we head up to Nerville's office and walk into an argument. Hey, you! Back away from my wife. To reveal to Farina that we can still talk. I would like to charge you as a fraud who's never been the Archon in the first place. Woohoo! Booyah, baby! That's my voice actor right there! This is Skirt, child's teacher. So actually, I think- Oh, and I don't know anything about what the Archon will look like, so, uh, here you go. When it came to the spikes, we did have the opportunity to ice bridge. It wasn't much of an opportunity, but the window was open for just a little bit. Yeah, we're going for the, uh, any percent glitchless speed run. Let's go. Uh, control V in the search bar. This is a huge skip. And that easy. Like taking candy from a baby. Light Hit him! Flash. You're aiming at the wrong person! Idiot! Ooh. Baby. Move! Move, baby! Yeah. Let's go! Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Rinse and repeat two more times, and bada bing, bada boom, we got the flowers. After about 20 minutes. He made quick work of that. <laughs> For the first time in forever, we actually did this domain in the intended way. Kinda. We put our creatures out there, left to go get a chest, and by the time we came back, there was only blood left. <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. <laughs> Fish Oh, ooh, Ringless. Huzzah! Huh, that looks like a string to me. I got it. I got it without talking to him. Oh my god. These were our survivors, but we cannot forget those who crawled so that they could walk. And what better way to honor them than with a wish? All right, give us Skarmouche, give us Skarmouche. And it looks like we're not getting Skarmouche. Uh, just give us a new character, at least give us a new character. That, that, that's just poetry. And lastly is Baron Bunny. I have nothing else to say about this ability. We began to play Drifting Soul and began our ascent. It took us so long. After all of the struggles, after all of the big brain strategies, and after all of the rock parkour, we did it. Act 5 complete! Booyah, baby! Boom! Wah! So tell me why I'm here and what's the reason I am here today? If I recall it was you, you wished that I would stay.